Mm. <laughs> Just say you need help. Help the bear. Help the bear. And to end the game. <laughs> There's an African proverb that says it takes a village to raise a child. We have definitely relied on the village. Definitely. You don't make a commitment to go to practice constantly. If you don't put in the work during class, you're not going to get anything out of it. And so cross training what I've learned with dance and taking that to higher achievement, it definitely helped me take advantage of what I had. At both dance and high achievement, we're like family. We believe that talent is everywhere, but opportunity isn't. At higher achievement, we create the community that I think carries our scholars through and helps them feel that they are not alone during that really critical point in time. We've had three kids go through higher achievement, and Layla, our youngest, is kind of the last one. While our story is we're very supportive as parents, um, what's hard for us is everybody had different activities, different things going on. I'm traveling, right? We both kind of work long hours and higher achievement again became that family structure for them. <laughs> Our youngest son, Jamal, middle school was a little turning point for him. And it was through higher achievement at Center. Finally, um, one of the mentors worked with him to refocus, get back on track. I was like, okay. You're about to graduate. Here comes high school. They really taught me to study skills and the preparation for tests, quizzes, exams, things like that, that I really didn't get before I joined the program. Once we, you know, saw the benefits um, with our son, again, um, the mentorship, um, the extra focus on academics. It became a no-brainer. Oh, yep, here comes your sister. Yep, we're signing you up too. For me, I was always smart. I did all my homework. I was like, <laughs> why do I need to go, you know? The way I look at it now versus how I was when I was in the program is so different. I see what it does for these kids and I see that it actually did help me. She got to blossom, I think, as a leader and a mentor in a way to some of the other kids. In college, I use a lot of what Higher Achievement taught me. In fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, I still use skills they taught me. I think they definitely showed me that you can do anything that you put your mind to. We're activists here in our house. You know, I like the fact that Higher Achievement just really encouraged the kids to be leaders. I think that sense of an extra bit of family or, or being a, a community, right, is the sort of thing that takes uh, a scholar or a student from from good to great. Summer I look to go back to higher achievement, teach some kids and give back to the organization that helped me and made me what I am today. I'm gonna go back and part of that reason was because when I was in higher achievement we didn't have like high school or volunteers to help us. We had like the adults and I mean I love adults don't get me wrong <laughs> but it's always nice to have that person who's a little more um, relatable to them. A lot of it is about trying to close that gap for people who who haven't been as fortunate um, to be born into systems that give them privilege. Our parents were always like believe in what you believe in, fight for what's right, stand up for what you believe in and so that definitely carried through a high achievement. And you know, I think that's formed um, because of like the people around me, like people at higher achievement, the my teachers, my family, my friends. Sister. My sister. Um, I think that without higher achievement, I think we wouldn't be student advocates. And I know I could probably speak for every, you know, family that's participated in this program for the 12 years that I was there and the years before me. Um, we want to see the program continue because lives are being changed, right? Families are being changed and communities are being changed. They support everyone regardless of what your status is, how much money you have.
taking that sort of simple action of saying, hey, I'm gonna spend a little bit more time with you and turning it into hundreds of mentors across four cities um, who every week say, hey, I'm gonna spend more time with you. That's a powerful thing. I wish we could scale nationwide. Um, it's a hard thing to do because it, it requires people with some privilege to do a little extra. The second part of it for me, I think, is about higher achievement really helping the scholars to develop their own sense of social justice. <laughs> to be raised with that sense of understanding that it's a struggle um, to make a better world and that your role in the world is not just to not just to go to college and get a good job and make good money and raise your family. Not that there's anything wrong with any of those things, but that you also have a, a purpose in the world to, to make it better for someone who's coming behind you. This is the way that we have shaped our world and that none of us are exempt from that. And that because none of us are exempt from that, I think that we all have a responsibility to to help reshape that. Like I said, that's a wrap. It's not a wrap. Can you... That's a wrap. <laughs> I got it. <laughs>